Anger, Wise Speech and Hiding from God, by Newness of Life Ministries www.trcb.me slash Noel. For the Word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword, and piercing as far as the division of soul and the spirit, of both joints and marrow, and able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Hebrews 4-12 Years ago, in a sales class, while working for a major corporation, they taught us to respond to customer anger by softly repeating the complaint using nice words. This teaching was based on Proverbs 15-1. And although we could not teach the Bible, we did teach many of its principles. The principle of turning away anger with gentle words can be generally applied in many situations. Try it sometimes. It will greatly diffuse angry confrontations. On the contrary, if you respond in kind, you will always make matters worse. Do not give what is holy to dogs and do not throw your pills before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn and tear you to pieces. Matthew 7-6 Jesus is referring to the folly of listening to fools spout forth their brand of wisdom. As Proverbs 15-2 makes clear, there is the speech of the wise and the speech of the foolish. We very often try to make the speech of fools acceptable by trying to interpret it in some ache sense way. But the fundamental problem is the lack of knowledge on the part of the fool. Proverbs 15, teaches us today? Your article could be in this broadcast. Visit trcb.com to find out how. Proverbs 15, 1-31, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. 2, the tongue of the wise makes knowledge acceptable, but the mouth of fools spouts folly. 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, watching the evil and the good. Psalm 7, 11-14 Theme, An Appeal for Justice 11, God is a righteous judge, and a God who has indignation every day. 12. If a man does not repent, he will sharpen his sword. He has bent his bow and made it ready. 13. He has also prepared for himself deadly weapons. He makes his arrows fiery shafts. 14. Behold, he travails with wickedness, and he conceives mischief, and brings forth falsehood. Today's question. Can you hide from God? One of the signs of spiritual immaturity is thinking you can hide from God. This begins by hiding things from parents. It usually starts with being disobedient and can progress in extreme cases to criminal activity. Hiding from God is a daily activity and does not always mean that we are hiding something bad. We hide from God in many ways. In our cell phones, TV, work, sports, music, internet and all types of activities. We make ourselves so busy we come to believe that God is not watching. Where can I go from thy spirit? Or where can I flee from thy presence? If I ascend to heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in Sheol, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I dwell in the remotest part of the sea, even there thy hand will lead me, and thy right hand will lay hold of me. Psalm 139, 7-10 Some people have even adopted the philosophy that sinning is not bad, getting caught sinning is bad. They either do not believe in God or they think so little of him or themselves that they believe he is not paying any attention to how they live their lives. Let me assure you that God is always watching, both good and evil. Let us join God in his daily activities, not by watching others. God is taking care of that, but by joining him in doing his daily work. We can begin with this prayer. Good morning God, how can I help or be of service to you today? Amen. The Newness of Life Daily Bible Message is designed for those who like to take a short respite from the day's responsibilities to enjoy the contemplation of God's Word. This daily message is based primarily upon the belief that to read some of Proverbs and some of Psalm every day will provide us with great spiritual growth and development when done consistently with discipline. Philip Saxton and contribute to Newness of Life Ministries NOL Philip Saxton, www.newnessoflife.com Bill it can be reached at saxton18metown.com Music by Kevin McLeod